My friend Rylan graciously sent me five flavors and the challenge now is to create five different characters. Do I look like a snickerdoodle kind of girl? What you think? Let me know. Hey, it's Diamante coming back to you with another exciting behind the scenes making of. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but let's figure it out together. <laughs> I wanna start pitching brands for sponsorship and partnership opportunities. So I decided to ask a friend who owns a company and I said, hey, could you send me some product and I'll shoot a video and transform myself into these different characters and it'll be really cool. Well, that was the plan. <laughs> He sent me the product yesterday, so I'll show it to you. A double chocolate pretzeltopia. Loaded big potato. Buttery white cheddar. Snickerdoodle. Classic caramel. My friend Rylan graciously sent me five flavors, and the challenge now is to create five different characters. The idea was with each flavor I try, I'm gonna be transformed into a different character different wig, different personality, different wardrobe. I'm back. Excuse my neighbor cutting the grass. Someone, I live in the country, someone's always cutting the grass. I hopped on Facebook Live in a group of people who I asked to occasionally help me come up with these ideas for YouTube. Nobody was in the group, so I was live all by myself, but that's okay. It really helped me organize my ideas and I could talk to myself without theoretically talking to myself. Okay. So here is what I came up with so far. All right, chocolate pretzel topia. Remember, girly and sweet, but also the pretzels are salty, so I think I may have added that after I showed you the last video. So I thought about um, the wardrobe being feminine with traditionally feminine colors like pinks and reds. And then for the hair, I thought, the salty or maybe the, the contrast could be big hair or I actually have a huge curly ponytail so maybe we'll try that out. Okay, and then for caramel, caramel is also sweet so there's a little overlap between caramel and the chocolate pretzel topia. Um, and since I already did the feminine colors for the chocolate, I thought maybe I could do like a white eyelet which is very feminine and also white is kind of like innocent so it's sweet without the fire or the spice and then I have a new wig coming it's a half wig called Drew Ann and I was thinking about I wanted to do big curls and I thought Drew Ann oops I thought Drew Ann would be perfect for that and then down to buttery white cheddar so if the style is Gap, Banana Republic, classic, but also kind of trendy. The hair could be, I was thinking a bob, because bobs are stylish and conservative at the same time. And then for wardrobe, I was thinking Gap kind of style, so khakis, polo, button down, you know, something conservative, a little boring, a little timeless down to snickerdoodle. I was thinking about cinnamon, right? So spicy and sweet. And then I thought a pixie wig might be cool. And I have one in three colors because the first time I ordered the wrong color and then anyway, I ended up ordering two more colors. So I was thinking the one that's the number four, which is the closest to my hair color, it's very brown, like a cinnamon color. So snickerdoodle comes from cinnamon, so I thought that would be a good parallel. And then for wardrobe, I was thinking something kind of spicy. So I have these new red boots that I could use. And when I opened my closet, I was like, oh yeah, I have the animal print maxi dress. So those are just two ideas. Whatever it ends up being though, I was thinking something kind of colorful and maybe something that someone with like a sassy personality would wear. Down to loaded baked potato. I was thinking meat and potatoes, like a meat and potatoes kind of person. And um, also maybe cozying up on the couch. So I thought about flannel 
and I own some flannel shirts, but the mom has some flannel pajamas. She has everything. I call her closets, plural, the costume shop. So I could either do something flannel she has or she has flannel onesies. I'm not a huge fan, but it might work for this scenario. Oh, for hair. Um, I was thinking a hair, long, long hair for this, for whatever reason. I just thought that was simple for someone who likes something as classic as like loaded baked potato. Hey, morning y'all. It is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm having a breakfast of muscadines. Oh, they're so good. And planning the popcorn video. So um, I had a thought to do like a not flat lay, um, actually maybe a flat lay, but um, a stop motion. I want to get the product shots now before I open and do the do the taste testing because then the bags won't look as nice. I was looking for something big enough to fit all five bags. It's perfect because Halloween is coming up. Hey, all right, we're back. Getting ready to film the first theatrical type scene for this popcorn video. And the first one we're gonna shoot is, is gonna be caramel. So the look is feminine and sweet, kind, like a Hallmark movie. Enter outfit back there. Ta-da, that is caramel. Jeans, a flowing top, and a cozy sweater. You know, like Hallmark. <laughs> for the scene, I was thinking um, walking or playing with the dog. Everybody loves a dog, right? All right, I won't say Hallmark again, but. So I'm back from the first look, which was me and the dog. I, I, we didn't do the walking thing. We just sat on the porch. She stared at me while I ate popcorn. Hopefully that doesn't make dog lovers angry. And then that was the caramel flavor. So now there's a little bit more light and it's golden hour, which is just perfect light. So I'm going to do the baked potato look. And the original idea was to do like flannel pajamas, but I, all my flannel is packed away because it's still summer. So I put on long sleeve matching sweat set. And I have this wig that I wanted. I wanted a long wig to kind of put it in a ponytail just to say casual. I have not done a video for this wig yet, so it still has the lace on it. And I don't want to cut it off because I want to do it for like a product review video. So just gonna take this scarf and cover up the lace. We are going to make it work. If I had a head wrap, I would put on a head wrap, but y'all, my head wrap ain't here yet be my lounging around the house being comfortable look one more thing this makeup is a little too pumped up for laying around the house so I'm going to take the pink off my lips tone down the eyes with something neutral uh, tone down the blush I just want to be neutral and casual and then I'm planning on putting this in a ponytail that's the plan we'll see what happens Hey, all right, getting ready to head outside for this look, butter with cheddar. This is my gap look, you can't see, but I'm wearing khakis. And um, I don't know, maybe gonna find a place to read a book outside or sit in the kitchen and read a book. I was gonna sit in the kitchen and read a book and that's actually a good idea, but I put these khakis on, so I want you to be able to see my pants. <laughs> so, sitting at the kitchen table won't work for that. So we'll see what's gonna happen. I have already have a pit stain from sweating, so mental note, keep my arm down at least on that side. This side is still clear for now. I was just looking in the mirror and um, y'all think I look like somebody's mom? <gasps> okay, while I'm here, we may as well talk about makeup real quick. So, uh, this hair is maybe a little more, excuse me, complicated than, or a little more, uh, whatever, flavorful than I intended. However, uh, for makeup, so I just did foundation-ish stuff and eyebrows and pink 
lip gloss and I added a little pink tint to it because it wasn't pink enough. But no blush, no contour, no bronzer. Um, I didn't even put any darker shadow under my eyes a little bit like I usually do. It's like a liner. We are plain Jane. Well, we trying to be plain Jane. Did it work? Hello, my friends. So I just finished the outdoor look. Well, you didn't know it was going to be outdoor, but I was reading a book outside. I went to the garage to look for some props and found a wire chair and table set that was really cute. So I propped it up in front of the fence so it would be like the park. And I took a little cloth bag <laughs> and I sat outside, ate some popcorn and pretended to read a book. And now we're on to the second look for the day, which is chocolate pretzel topia. And so I have the curly ponytail going. This was, the idea for this was a really feminine look. So girly makeup. Whereas the last makeup was kind of demure. So I added a little bit of pink to my cheeks and I pinked in my lips a little. I put on some schnazzy studs, um, a cute little dainty necklace and a watch. And I'm gonna go sit at the kitchen table and pretend I'm talking on the phone to one of my girlfriends about some guy and then I get all flustered because the guy calls me and I try to compose myself. So that's gonna be like a, I don't know, five second scene. We'll see how it goes, but that is the plan. Okay, this is the last scene for the day, which is perfect because we're losing light, which is perfect because this is a like nighttime getting ready scene and also the makeup for this scene is the most prominent. So red lip, not smoky eye, but punched up eye. I added um, black liquid liner and um, something else. I added something else. Oh, bronzer, I added bronzer. So here we go. Do I look like a snickerdoodle? Do I look like a snickerdoodle kind of girl? What you think? Let me know. All right, I just finished the last shot for the day. That was shot number three, and this was the sassy snickerdoodle red lip. I took the earrings out because they hurt and they kept falling out anyway. So yeah, the next thing is to film the video of me sitting down in front of the camera, talking to the camera, like, hey, this company sent me these five flavors. Let's try them out. I may also do some pickup shots of close-ups of the popcorn. We'll see. Hello. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> I have like wigs hanging all over my room. <laughs> I'm right there too. Anyway, it's 1 a.m. and I'm editing. This is the life of a content creator. Right now it's three and a half minutes long, which means it's probably going to double in length. So seven minutes. Is that too long for a popcorn video? Oh no, we'll see. We're just gonna try some things. We're gonna throw some things at the wall and see what sticks. That is the whole plan. Okay, now we're back in my room. I just didn't sleep well after that. And you know, I like to get up at five. For the first time in weeks, I missed the 5.30 live I've been doing on Instagram, 5.30 a.m. And even now my head still hurts so badly. I'm on the struggle bus right now. So we're in the kitchen and I wanted to show you this cool thing I found in the garage. Okay, so we're getting ready to walk into the garage. You may have heard me affectionately call my mom's closet the costume shop. Well, if that's the costume shop, then our garage and the rest of our house is the prop master. Check this out. Okay, let's take a little tour. Well, first I'll show you this thingamabobber that I found. Let me try. I'm using the gimbal, so I'm still figuring out how it works. There we go. Okay, so I showed you the small one in the kitchen. I found this big one, but I didn't want to use the big one because it has a logo here and I didn't want to have to worry about hiding it. And for whatever reason, the smaller one did not have a logo. I mean, it's pretty, but you know, it doesn't really go with the theme. So yeah, there's all kinds of things. Actually, I found the table and chair set that I used for the butter popcorn white cheddar look yesterday. Our bikes are over there. There's just all kinds of great stuff in here. We have lots of hammocks, actually. There are these cool things. I don't know exactly what they are, y'all, but they look cool. They're like uh, log, log things. I don't know. 
I don't know what they are. I'll show you the one on the porch. You'll be able to see that one better, but I thought they would be cool. And I was actually gonna use that in the video with the dog on the porch, but I ended up not needing it. There's a kitty pool. There's another kitty pool, the mini dip. This is the mini dip ball. This is the other mini dip ball. It has gold confetti instead of colored confetti. <laughs> there are two mini dip balls with the gold confetti. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. That's the garage, the prop house. While we're out here, I'll show you where I set up the park scene. Our neighbors have a beautiful fence. I set this up to be the, the little park and I put the table and chair set over here. And yeah, that was the little park. This is our little hay bale straw garden but um, I didn't think it would actually work well in the storyline despite looking pretty cool, so no garden. This is the little log I was telling you about. Isn't it cute? I thought it would be a cool prop. Maybe I'll use it in the future, but not right now. This is the bench for the scene with the little doggy. And back there, see those blue pallets and that garage looking area and the trees? That's gonna be a great spot to shoot something in the future. I did some test photos there and it came out really well. While we're here, I'll show you one of my favorite areas to shoot, which is the kitchen, where there are these beautiful wraparound windows. And I actually took a roll of seamless paper, cut it off, and I clipped it at the top of the curtain rod. And so I did one of the scenes here, the one where I'm wearing the red dress and talking on the phone. And I use this area quite a bit. And here's some other seamless paper <laughs> that rolled up. I actually did two sides. So one here and I tried to, this is the refrigerator and some food stuff on top. I tried to do the other seamless here and I taped it to the wall and it worked. I used um, blue painter's tape. It worked until it fell off eventually. I'll see if I can show you that. Yeah, I taped it up here. You can see there's still some remnants of tape. Um, it didn't, it worked for the moment. I look forward to finding a more permanent solution, like maybe a curtain rod or something, but I just wanted to do something really quick. Hey, I was just trying to make a heart and it did not come out very well. So we're gonna put all of this back in this bowl. This is the dirty bowl. It's popcorn I had on unclean surfaces. This time, I'm going to make an outline of a heart and then fill it in instead of just trying to make a heart outright because that didn't work so well. Um, popcorn from the dollar store. It's white cheddar. Da! It was two dollars a dollar, something like that. I didn't want to use the product popcorn because I only had a limited supply of it and a lot of it is flavored and I didn't want the flavor to get everywhere. Looks like a heart. Okay, this lobe is bigger than this lobe. <laughs> Am I being uh, nitpicky? So just finished some stop motion and then I got an idea to do a few close-up shots like this. So then I just turned, I made a little dolly majigger and I just turned until I got each one. So I just, um, this is a, um, jar of old t-shirts I turned into rags so I cut them up and use them to wipe things around the house and I just put the log the bobber on top and there we have it my room is still a mess from all the props but I'm editing maybe almost done I pretty much did everything for the picture part of the clips and now I'm going through well I added music already and now i'm changing the audio levels because somehow the audio did not do very well so i'm raising every little teeny clip individually up to 200 percent it's time to tie the storyline together to tie the characters with me as myself and i have some ideas but i'm a little not sure about it so i reached out to 
about three friends who are experienced with script writing and shooting movies and that kind of thing and I'm gonna get their advice because it takes a village <laughs> uh, but right now I'm thinking right now I'm thinking of saying something like hey my friend at Lamar Marie's gourmet popcorn sent me these cool flavors and I thought I'd bring you along the ride with me to try them out or something like that but then the transition between me trying it and me becoming the character is what I'm still questioning I need a table to eat the popcorn off of and I don't have one upstairs so I'm going to try creating a table. If you can't tell, I took the sign off my wall. As you can see some of the words through the sign, so I'm thinking about getting some white paper, just regular computer paper and putting that underneath. one of them just fell on the floor y'all all right my friends there we have the beginning of the table now i'm gonna set up the lights i'm testing this shot and my face is still dark and so far it's not working it's not working just finished hair and makeup i tried to cheat as you can see i'm wearing you can't see my jeans, but I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans. And I tried to pick fall colors instead of something fall for wardrobe because when I'm filming, I turn my air conditioner off to eliminate the noise and it's so hot. I was wearing a sleeveless tank top and shorts and I was sweating. So yeah, I could not do a sweater. So I have kind of darker eyes, darker lips, darker cheeks all in the same plum palette. And then um, I have on a dark t-shirt and dark jeans. I hope people get that that's fall. Oh, and I have this little pumpkin, little, you know, my little scarf that I love so much. So we're gonna try it out, see what happens. As always, you can let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinions. Okay, last scene, let's do it. Okay, just finished the last shot where I'm going to be seen. Now I'm going to record some voiceover of the of narrating the scenes with the different characters. Okay, this will be the last video about this video. Good news. Uh, one of my old clients, Ed, Ed, if you're watching this, shout out to you. You the real MVP. Okay um told me had a suggestion that i do a vignette on one of the sequences so i'll show you that in a second also i redid the voiceover because whatever i was doing it sounded like garbage it sounded like i was gonna say in the closet but in the closet would actually sound good it sounded so bad so i deleted the whole thing but actually what i did to make it easier was i put in headphones and played the video and as the video was playing I recited the lines in a separate recorder. I recorded the audio with my phone and the Smart Mic Plus app because yes, that's a good powered microphone, but also it works best with the app because the app does some special things. I don't know, 64 bit rate, I don't know, it does something. Anyway, the best sound you can get with the Smart Mic Plus is through the Smart Mic Plus app. So that's what I use and it sounds so good. And I actually made a, um, made a voice booth out of my closet and i took a couple little <laughs> the back. i took a couple little videos so i'll throw that in here too but Get ready to see the final video. I'm excited. It's not done yet, but by the time you see this, it's gonna be done. And just to give you an idea of what I mean about the vignette, this will just give you an idea. So I took a screenshot of the image 
and I put it into Photoshop. Don't let this overwhelm you. It's very, it's high level complicated stuff. You don't have to do all this stuff, but I'm just doing it because I just am. Uh, and then, so I put it over in Photoshop and I put a layer on top that's white and I use the eraser tool in the center to erase the center. And then I brought down the transparency of the layer so that it went from this hard edge to this softer edge. Shout out to Ed again, that was his suggestion. So I'm still working on that. And then I may also do a transparency that's more like this with dark edges which is a traditional vignette for the scene when I'm on the bed to kind of make it look more like night. So I'm pretty much creating these fake filters by just taking an image in iMovie and this is just an image I'll show you. So these are photos. If I go here and do picture in picture, okay, you end up with this. Now, normally that would be like two videos or a picture in a video. Oh, sorry, the, let me lock the exposure so it stops doing that. Okay. Um, and then if we go here and here, we can move it. The center is dark because it is a transparent center. So you just move it around till you find where you like it. And remember in Photoshop, I had put the image underneath so I could see where I wanted the erased part to be. And then, Ta-da! iMovie magic. Because if you don't know, iMovie filters, when I say they're garbage, I'll show you real quick. I mean, I like iMovie. Shout out to whoever made iMovie. These filters are garbage. They're really bad. Like there is a vignette here. Let me find it. No. Oh, dreamy. Well, it's not, it's kind of a vignette, but see how bad that looks? How the color is completely desaturated. <sighs> and then here's a, vignette that's like a black it's just ugly ugly hi welcome back to getting in character you're in for a treat today because things are going to get really sweet or savory if you prefer our friends from lamar marie's gourmet popcorn sent us five flavors to try and we're gonna try it together i'm so excited Lamar Marie does some really cool things with gourmet popcorn flavors. They even have a flavor of the month club where they send you two flavors every month, a sweet and savory, so you can always be trying new things and enjoying some delicious flavors. Check them out at the link in the description box below. We have loaded baked potato, snickerdoodle, buttery white cheddar, caramel, chocolate pretzeltopia aka a girl's best friend which one should we try first hmm how about snickerdoodle it's been a while since you've seen the girls outside of work can you see it having this cinnamony snack as you get ready for girls night out sweet and spicy you are ready to take a dip on the dance floor and revive the red lip. And Pam hooked your hair up too? Oh yeah, it's about to go down. Everybody loves this next one. You know, like take me out to the ball game, caramel. It's sweet, like a Hallmark movie. Just imagine the main character sitting on the porch with her dog, enjoying an afternoon snack. How about a savory flavor next, like loaded baked potato? Tastes like comfort food. Think about 
laying around in sweats on a lazy Saturday night. Ugh. And watching a really good movie. Cozy. This tastes like that kind of comfort. And of course we have a classic buttery white cheddar. An oldie but a goodie. It's familiar, like reading a book in the park. A favorite flavor we all recognize. Classic, with a side of trendy. And carrying a reusable cloth shopping bag. It will always be in style. Now, the moment I've been waiting for, chocolate pretzeltopia. It's what you want to be eating when you call your best friend to complain about your boyfriend who claims he didn't do anything wrong. If he's so innocent, then why hasn't he called? You always forgive your boyfriend though. He's mostly sweet and his parents love you. Plus, you miss him when you fight. Again, special thanks to our friend at Lamar Marie's Gourmet Popcorn. You've got to try this stuff. It is so delicious. They make new flavors all the time. There's something for everyone. Whether you love popcorn or you just love trying new flavors, you're going to love it. You've got to try it. <laughs>